Former national swimmer Tao Li was one of the 92 passengers in the first evacuation flight from Wuhan to Singapore. She left Singapore for the Chinese city on the 22nd of January, a day before the city was locked down. Released from quarantine on Thursday, she shares her experience with our reporter, Lili Ying. When Singapore's ex-national swimmer Tao Li flew to Wuhan to visit her family for Chinese New Year, she had no idea a storm was brewing. The very next day after she arrived, Chinese authorities ordered a lockdown of the city to stem the spread of COVID-19. Wuhan is the epicentre of the disease, affecting more than 60,000 people globally. While well, there, Tao Li was calm initially as she thought the situation was contained. But her anxiety built as news and rumours flooded Chinese messaging app WeChat. When the city uh, shut down and everybody cannot step out of the house, um, but I still have to buy the daily needs. So when you step out of your door and when you press the leave, you think that you know the air, there's virus in the air, you get fear deep in your heart. Not knowing how she was going to get home, the worried Tao Li called her friend, who suggested she call the Singapore Embassy in Beijing. That got the ball rolling and she was eventually put on the scoot flight on 30th January. She was among the first 92 Singaporeans evacuated from the Chinese city. But Tao Li had to leave her mother behind. Of course, I miss my mom. And now when you're sitting at, ho- uh, I think when you're sitting at home, you feel that this house is very empty. Like, you miss her voice. Uh, you can see, like, your dad, my dad, like, sending messages on the WeChat and say that they are safe. Um, how, what um, vegetables they are, they are buying, all those stuff. Yeah, actually, deep in my heart, I worry for them. The night before her flight, she made her way to the airport decked out in a mask and gloves. The airport was deserted, except for the other Singaporeans on the same flight, which was scheduled for 3am. They boarded the plane four hours later as the plane needed to be sanitised. In Singapore, they were screened before boarding a bus and being escorted by the police to Aloha Loyang, a government quarantine facility. Everyone was given a private room and all their needs were provided for. Apart from the meals provided, they were also allowed to order food deliveries, which were dropped at the guard house. The 14-day quarantine was a mix of boredom and sometimes anxiety, especially after some passengers tested positive for the coronavirus, she said. The day finally came on Thursday when she and some 80 others were cleared to go home. I was so happy, you know, I couldn't wait. Oh, before this virus thing comes out, just think, oh, I want to be famous. I want to be uh, uh, rich, I want to be, well you have a lot of thoughts, you know, you have a lot of dreams. Of course you are now, still have dreams, but now you slow down, you think about healthy, family, the, the, the ones who you love is more important than anything else. And once they open the gate, I just think, what's a wonderful life. A wonderful life indeed. Just two days after clearing a two-week quarantine, a confident Tao Li is back coaching at her swimming school at Masik Club.